Good afternoon, folks. Today we're going to demonstrate how to set up the 854DX bender by Greenland. Before we get started, we'll talk about the PPE we need, which will be our gloves to protect our hands, and we'll need our safety glasses. All right, this bender is now set in the transport position, which is very important when you're transporting this bender across the job site, like so. You need your handles faced up to do that. Uh, do not transport the, the bender in the bend position, and I'll go over that with you in just a moment. All right, we got it into place. We have it plugged in, and we're going to lock the wheels into place. And that'll keep our bender stationary, okay? So if you come around to this side, I'll show you how to switch the bender over into the bending position. This is what we call the bend position of this bender. Okay, and as you can see, this bender will bend half inch, three quarter, one inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, and two inch. IMC rigid, it will also bend EMT on the other side. When you are bending rigid conduit, you do not have to set the pressure rollers, which are these. These are your pressure rollers. On rigid, we do not set those rollers. Now, if you were bending the IMC or the EMT, you will engage the pressure rollers, which keeps your pipe from, from crinkling or flattening, okay? So, to set the, the pressure rollers, you will pull this handle right here. The green handle to the side. Once you engage your pipe, and it will lock in. Once it locks in, you will be ready to bend your IMC or your EMT conduit, but do not engage those rollers with rigid conduit. If you'll come around this way, we'll, we'll do the on-off switch, which is pretty simple to operate. You come on here, and this is called your pendulum. This is where you will set your angles for your conduit, whether you're bending 10, 15, 8, 30, or a 90 degree bend. This is where you will select that. And if you will look closely, we have, we have scales here, we have the labels that will tell you the spring back of your conduit, whether you're bending EMT, IMC, rigid, conduit, okay? It has your sizes, and it has your angles. If you need to bend a 90 degree bend on a two inch EMT, it's going to tell you to bend it at 93 degrees. So we will come to our pendulum and we will select 93 degrees, like so. Once you select your 93 degrees, it's gonna go back to wherever it was sitting at that moment. Now, to load our conduit, we will go to a negative six degrees. As you can see here, this is where we are on the IMC rigid side. So if we was gonna bend a piece of rigid pipe, this is where we would be. If we were going to be in a piece of EMT pipe, we're going to run this around. And what you do is you hit the load button until it comes to your EMT side comes around. And as we'll show you that in just a second once it comes around. Never ever bring this around with these rollers engaged because your hooks on your conduit is going to hit the rollers and it's going to damage the machine.
Okay, we're on the negative six on the EMT side. So now we're ready to bend the EMT. We would insert the proper size of EMT that we're bending into the proper slot, okay? Once we had that done, again, we're gonna select our angle of 93 degrees for a two inch 90 EMT. And there we are. And then it goes back to the negative to load the pipe. So once we inserted the conduit, you're gonna come and engage the roller here until it drops into place. And that's where you would bend your EMT. On the half inch, three quarter, and one inch, there is no pressure roller, so you do not engage this with half inch, three quarter, or one inch on any style of conduit, EMT, IMC, nor rigid. We will now demonstrate how to bend two inch EMT on the Greeny 854 DX electric bin. There you go. Simple as that. Thank you.